All right, here's ready for some dog mechanics. So we need to unstick that rugby ball. Sissel button. Oh, cool. Yep, that's the select button there. Cool. Okay, so I can swap. Okay, so they're kind of pointing me towards the possibility of swapping other stuff right now, too. Um, whoops. I was about to say, I should go back there to where I was so that, um, this all can... Hold on, dude. I can dodge. If I remember correctly, if you do something, like, extraordinarily difficult with, like, really fancy timing and everything, there is a very specific failure condition you can produce in this level. I don't remember what the details are. I mean, it's, it's still like your old self, so... Okay. But anyhow, I, I don't remember how to do it, and I, to my understanding, it's quite difficult. This game was re-released on, I think, PC or something at some point later on. Um, I think that was made into an achievement, doing that other silly absolutely no reason to challenge yourself to fail in this way thing. That is there. No, okay, do we want to swap with the, the rugby ball or do we want to stop him? Those are two different things. Anyways. There you go, okay, so we can get around with... Uh, we can just talk to... Get ready with what? I guess maybe around the ball? This is another one of those where I actually have basically no recollection of, of what it is you need to do, so. Okay, I can swap those. Interesting. That's kind of my idea right now, just seeing what stuff I can swap around. I don't think there's any reason for me to go on the right right now. So, I can swap these two things. Is there anything else I can do from over here? I can play with this and move some stuff around here. So I can move the, um... Yeah, we saw earlier we can move some stuff around in this tree. So if I get Sissel up here, I can move some stuff around. I can get this umbrella over there. S something. Look at this guy. Such grace. So do we accomplish anything if we swap these out of curiosity? Oh, hold on. I could also, in theory, swap these. I don't know. Let's see. Swap this back in there too, actually. I don't know if there's a reason to do that. I feel like this is the most interesting thing I could do. Putting the tire on here. I didn't seem to do anything really. So equipment. So there's a seesaw, there's a swing, and then whatever you call this thing. So they're saying we should do something with this, so I'm not sure what. Right, they're already implying that I've screwed up, so.
This is a puzzle I have really no recollection of for what it's worth. So, okay, this time Sissel's at least not on the way. To start with. Okay. Now let's not mess with that yet. I cannot get over there. So the implication is we want to play with this thing. Um, Can I mess with this somehow? Like, is it hard to turn this thing if I put the big tire in it? Nope. That's one annoying thing. You can't jump from one thing to another that actually has the same shape. Because I will try to swap them. Okay, so now... Our youthful vigor guy here. We'll try something. So will this thing be hard to turn now or what? Will this do anything? Seemingly not. I'm not sure I really understand how I need to slow this guy down, to be honest. Oh, hold on. Um, let me switch to Sizzle, because Sizzle can also... Oh, shoot. No! Oh. Ah. I do have one idea. I was thinking swapping stuff around since there is something in there you can swap around. But uh, if I move Sissel over there instead, I could spin that thing around faster while he's on it, right? Is this a new hint or what? Okay. Oh shoot, can I, can I not get around here? Oh never mind, I just have to... Okay. Yeah, Sissel's even slower to move around, too. No? Oh. Yeah, so I noticed that. I don't think there's a note in your hair. Okay, so now that I think I should do stuff with... with him. That's strange. I can't get over there, actually. Interesting. Okay, well, now what do I want to do to switch stuff around? So Sizzle can move that thing. Well, yeah, I don't really see what I'd want to do right now. I could swap these? I don't know why I'd want to do that, really, but... It turns back around the other way. Okay, I don't think we want... I don't think we wanted that. You're saying I can swap other stuff around here, which is like, yeah, sure, great, but I don't feel like that's what I need right now. Let's wait a second longer for him to get on to this thing so we, we can... Oh, shoot. <laughs> get out of the way. Okay, there you go. I can trick this thing. <laughs> okay, well, that's doing something. Music intensifies. That's what we call those? No, they don't. I'm sure many children have been in this exact position before that you see right now on screen. I don't think standing it is really a factor here. Okay, so question now. Um, is what we can do over here. I don't think there's much use for... It doesn't look like any things here have the same shape. Well, these can't be swapped, but they, they're the same thing. It doesn't look like I can play with much over here. I'm not sure there's much to swap here. It's really the game was kind of implying that I want to do a swap stuff, but I don't see what there is to do with swapping these different balls right now. On the other hand, I can get hit Sissel up here. Right, 
Hopelessness of youth. Okay. Um, now it might be time for the dog. Um, yeah, I'm thinking of if you want to have one of these things get kicked up into the air and hit the umbrella or something. Um, if I remember right, the, the tire did not get much air time at all. I can't imagine that the baseball would help with much of anything. There we go. That did not do much. I don't know if it's a good idea on your positive game to say, I never thought that, <laughs> that this would be the solution in the game, but... Really? Oh, okay, yeah, I see. So now it's up there, but now I just need to swap the... Ooh. Oh, but I need to have these in a different position. I think I did. Ah! Okay, I get the idea now. I need these to be in, in different spots. Okay, we've got it figured out. I don't remember what it is you have to do to, to mess up this whole thing. Um, and get the the silly way of, of losing this. It's something odd. And the timing is really trippy, from, from what I recall. Okay, so we want the tire to be on the left. Tire on the left, basketball on the seesaw. Okay, so let's start with missile here. Let's get missile roughly into position. No, I can move all this stuff around now, can't I? Right, so I want to just swap these right now. That's all I want to swap. And then... Get Missile up here out of the way. And then Sissel slowly makes his way along. Are you serious? Sissel, you weakling. Okay. Big strong puppy dog. Coming to save you. Okay. Um. So now we will have to reswap the the ball here. Um, I need to get Missile out of the way. Missile will need to swap the baseball, so I think that ought to be good. In fact, I can probably do that with Missile now. Okay, so now we can move into the, into the globe. Spin that to ruin this guy's day. Get up here. Start playing with all this stuff. Okay, so now I think everything is how it needs to be. B, more or less. I probably shouldn't, but... Oh, yeah, I know, guys. This, this dialogue just gets triggered automatically. It's kind of annoying. Just thinking of where to put Sissel right now. Um, does Sissel need to do anything after this? I think the big thing we need to do is just swap the... the basketball and 
the tire. So I think we can just... This is the question. What does he press start in this game? It brings up this. Just curious what his profile said at the moment. Okay. Alright, basketball up there. No, actually, wasn't planning on it. <laughs> Didn't really mean for Miss Al to get launched into the umbrella, but I guess that works. Okay. Is that within range? Well, I guess if the thing is falling out on then. Now you could swap them now, really. Alright, so get over there. I guess I have to wait for that thing to fall before I can swap it. There's no fate change in this one either. There's no opportunity to... Uh, Get any checkpoints anywhere. No, so I guess Missile just does that for you. No. Oh. So how do you do that without moving around anywhere? I was, I was putting myself in position. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Poor trash can. At least partly. In the trash? Beta Burger, fantastic. Yeah, you're pretty dead. Would that undo this, though? I don't, I don't really know how the time stuff works in this game. <laughs> Interesting words. The dog realizes their own futility. Amazing. <laughs> Man, I wish I were dead. Lucky. Oh yeah. That is literally why we were here. Right, this guy will have one more crazy thing to go on about. Ghosts and whatever and time travel. And ghost dog. I can't hear the words ghost dog without thinking of that really random exclamation from Nicktoon's Globs of Doom for some reason. Anyways. <laughs> oh yeah. I mean, we didn't really try very hard to change that part. Hi, I'm your dog and I'm dead. And I'm in this leaf. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> but with all that dog reach, you can't just get somewhere else. Is there a little bit of snow on that tree up there? Not much snow anywhere else, though. Yeah. Oh well. Oh, 
now. <laughs> this will just fit in my pocket perfectly fine. Passing out, what's going on? Yeah, don't flatter yourself. Oh, he's booting back up. you'd recognize her 10 years later, but... Uh, this is gonna be... I don't know. I don't remember precisely where things go from here, but I was going to finish the chapter before finishing this episode, but I think we'll actually cut it off here because we'll have more serious story discussion stuff next time. So, we'll stop here. This is the last session for me for today, right? Yes, it is. Okay, cool. See you then!